It's blue, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee da ba die. Brandon's a blue guy, and he's wearing blue shirt and blue jeans and got a blue light. And all the things he's pointing on is blue. Welcome to the Buckhorn Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Randy. What up, Randy? A lot is up. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful day. It's, oh, hell yeah, it is. I've been working outside most of the Gorgeous. day. Gorgeous. Um, I noticed the Funko Pop Tower has grown. Oh, yeah. But I'll come back to that. So I left. I had to go to the ATM, get some monies. Dinero. Uh, some dinero, some dollaros. Some Robert Dineros. Because I bought two pans of hot mess. Yeah, I did. A brisket and a pork, which you're diving into. You're like, he's talking about me. Sure. I'm, I'm eating it. So I leave my house, go across town, head across town to get an ATM. I come to a three-way stop. There's a car sitting to the right of me. Or, sorry, it's a four-way stop. Okay. Car sitting to the right of me. A car approached from the left. And then I hit the stop, right? So the car to the right goes. Yep. Car to the left goes. And then I start going. Well, the car, another car to the right, after the first car decided she could just go. That's how turn. it works. No, she went out of turn. No, but that sh- person to the right always has right away. No, not when I was already sitting there. Uh, no, I'm saying the first the first one went. Yeah, yeah, I know. And another person came up after me. Yeah. And she decided to follow that one through. Yeah. She, after she, I started going. It's fine. She had the right away. Yeah, right. She's she, looking down at her phone or something in her lap. She, it's fine. It's 2021. She's probably looking down, checking her wang size. It's and almost t-boned me. So I hit the horn. She looks up like, "Oh, I didn't know. I just rolled through that stop sign in front of the police station." And I keep and heading. All the cops came out. I keep heading down the road where I there are no stop signs, and somebody shoots across in front of me anyway, and I almost t-boned them all within like a quarter mile. That's fun. Go to the ATM, get cash, start heading towards Meet Derek's place. Uh, that's Smoke Out Barbecue for the listeners who we love. Adore. Uh, yes. So, Robo Desk. So, Robo Desk. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I almost got into two other legitimate accidents today because people were just driving like whatever and not paying attention. One old lady was walking her bike out 188. No party pants. Okay. Like, picture like 50, upper 50s, maybe lower 60s, female, walking like a cruiser bike you'd ride in town. Yeah. Down 188. That's dangerous. Where there are ditches on either side, so there's no room for her to get off the road. And there's a lot of hills and curves. A lot of blind hills and yeah, curves. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> Not just hills and curves. That was sketchy. And blind. then on the way from Meet Derek's to here, there's a lady walking straight down the middle of the lane I'm driving in, looking down at her phone in the sun and keeps lifting her sunglasses to try and see the screen and stopping the text. In the middle of the freaking lane. Yeah. That's how we do it out here. My whole day has just been watching idiots be idiots and trying not to kill them. Not, like, murder them, but, like... Hey, you pulled in front of me or walked down the middle of the road. It that that sounds like a normal day for me though. So how's your day going? So it's been going actually really well. Good. Other than I woke up at two thirty this morning, I felt like someone was trying to give me a lobotomy. Like that's not good. I had a headache from hell. And I didn't drink too much. Although I did mix alcohols yesterday. That's what did it. That is what did it. But here's the thing that kills me. Like legitimately wakes me up and kills me in the middle of the night. Is I had maybe an ounce and a half of whiskey at seven. That's nothing. Nothing. I mean, that's, that's. You're talking one shot. Yeah. Uh, that was between basically four different versions of whiskey. So I had some of the Jimmy's Poor Man's Pappy, had some Old Elk, OHL Oh, so you guys did like a tasting. We did it at the gym. So you're just, like just taking sips. It was just him and I. Um, but yeah, and then I took the, the Boot Hill Distillery from Kansas, and he had Elijah Craig. We did it on the show. Uh, the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Yeah, I forgot about that one. So I had those four, totaled maybe an ounce and a half, because they were just tiny pours. Like, I wasn't really in the mood to to drink yesterday after, you know, crushing my soul on a workout. Um, 
And then we come home, we eat dinner, we go over to the neighbors. It was probably like nine o'clock. So two hours later, I had three light beers, two Miller Lights and a Rheingeist Cheetah. And the it it's on the floor. Did it? <laughs> yeah. I felt something hit my beard and I lost it. It's on the floor. Diesel can get it. It's baked bean. Um, <laughs> and then, baked bean. and then at like two thirty this morning, I just woke up with this pounding headache. I took my medicine. I took my That's migraine. weird because that wasn't enough to get you like drunk. No. Well, you probably although you went to bed feeling nothing. Although after drinking the whiskey, I did tell Liz, I'm like, I'm not feeling it. Like something, I feel weird. Like I'm not feeling 100. percent I don't feel drunk. I just don't feel good. Good and. We went to the store, and then she got in the passenger seat, and I ended up driving home. Jimmy roofied you. Maybe. Um, so, anyway, I got up at, like, 2.30 and sat in the shower for 45 minutes, like, as hot as the water could get, and then cold as the water, as cold as I can get the water, like, back and forth. Uh, basically shocking my system. Took my migraine medicine. Everybody listening to this is just super enthralled with what I do for my headache routine. I'm just picturing you in the shower. Yeah, so is everybody else, uh, especially with the 20 pounds I lost. Mm. Oh, so sexy. And especially I, people who have never actually physically seen you. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then uh, I also put BioFreeze on my forehead. Talk about fucking burn. I've never, ever heard oh, of anybody doing God. that. Oh, my God. Like, I, I, I don't know what, why I started doing it 20 years ago, but I started putting, like, I'd put Ben Gay or BioFreeze or something like that one of those sports applications for sore muscles on my forehead and like across the back of my neck, man, that, that helps to knock my headaches out. Like you wouldn't believe anyway, fuck all that. Put it on your balls. I have, but you'll forget about the headache real quick. Yeah. When, when your balls have been as much through as much trauma as I have, they just, they don't feel anything. That's tragic. I know. Anyway, we got smoke out barbecue. Yeah. I'm done with mine. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> well, we also got mead. So I grabbed, I'm like, you know, we're doing, we're switching it up today. We've done mead on the show before. We did Brothers Drake. Yeah. And I've I had, need more Brothers Drake. I haven't had in a while. I haven't either. I have, I've had, but I've had this bottle sitting downstairs for like two years. Didn't even realize. You just forgot about it. Forgot about it. So I'm like, fuck it. We're doing it. We also have water, water and wine. I have a wine to try. I we've never done a wine, have we? No, we haven't. All right, so we're going to do this wine as well. But we'll see how it pairs with uh, uh, smoke out here. We got the pork hot mess from Smoke Out, which yeah. is mac and cheese, smoked beans, and smoked pork with the sweet and tangy sauce. Uh, smoke Out Barbecue also caters wedding seasons coming up, special events. Highly recommend because if you cannot have not heard from our mouth noises. Which it's, we used to really, really try not to eat on the air. We don't care. Well, no, it's not that I don't care. I just try not to make the mouth noise. Well, we here. try not to, but Smoke Out is phenomenal. So check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and all that. But yeah, yeah, I just slammed mine. I was so hungry, I haven't eaten today. So now we're going on to this mead. So we got mead, and this is made from seventy-eight percent honey and twenty-two percent raspberry. This is Saint Ambrose Meadery, and this is called Razamataz. I like the name. I love the name. I love Razamataz. I like it. So it's 12%. It has a government warning. Opulent raspberry and honey flavors with a crisp, clean finish pairs exquisitely with chocolate or delightful on its own as a dessert. Oh, we don't have any chocolate. I could probably dig some up downstairs, so I'm not going to. I like Halloween candy leftover. Yeah. yeah. I actually need to go buy Easter candy, speaking of. Well, that's good because I got a card. Um, I stopped at a store up in Troy, Ohio called Needles, but it's, it's kind of like a walking into like an Audi. I think I've explained it before, but it's wine, liquor, beer. Oh. And they had a card sent by the bourbon of what chocolates pair with what kind of bourbon. Hmm. So I grabbed it and then I forgot it at home. Oh, well, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. We don't have the, cause you gotta get like the sea salt caramel. Oh. You gotta get like dark chocolate, you know? So I yeah. figured I'll try and. Procure these things and just then we'll get a Ghirardelli variety bag. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, you'll get a, do that. probably everything we need in there. Probably. Um, so, so we tried this downstairs because I was we worried, were worried worried that it may not be good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now that it's been open, it smells good. 
Well, try it now. So I'm already through my glass. Oh, okay. Like, try it now that it's been open for a while. It smells like good candy. It's sweet. Yeah. It's, it smells fantastic. You can really, you can smell the raspberry, kind of like a honey crisp apple flavor. In the I like this. On. Yeah. What this reminds me of, I, I like to get those honey straws, and you can get them in different flavors, like raspberry. Mm-hmm. It tastes just like that. Like a raspberry honey straw thing. I would buy those when I'm at, when they do the uh, honey beef, or the honey festival here in Lithopolis. Yeah, yeah. They have so those. last time I got some it was when we were down in Tennessee last uh, last fall slash winter whatever. I always end up forgetting about them. Then they crystallize. <laughs> you, I mean, you can still eat them. Mm. Honey don't go bad. I know, but they they get like microwave it sugary and crystallize, and you're like chewing. It's like arr, arr, arr. yeah, it's, it's it's just candy. Mm. It's like eating hard candy. I like this a lot. This is good. We this, this is this good. glass is too small for how much of this I want actually. Well, this I is, like these glasses because. They are nice glasses. We can, we can limit and measure. Dreams. We can measure intake. But, yeah, so I haven't had anything else from them. And, obviously, this is the first one I've had from. That gets better the more you taste it. Yes. Yeah, I, that's, I And that's really what I was like saying. Like, the more, the more you try it, the better it gets. Um, Where are they out of, does it say? Uh, if I wasn't using a blue light special, I could probably. Uh, Michigan. There you go. Yeah, Buell, Michigan. One of the only decent things to ever come out of that state up north. I guess. And uh, Tim Allen, he's pretty funny. I said one of. I know. Yeah, but we also got Tyler out of that state. So. Well. And we got that team up north. That's not saying And you much. have Detroit. And shitty roads. And you got Flint and their water. I, I think that's like a seven-year problem. Is that still going on? I think Thanks, so. Obama. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Obama. Yeah. Um, so anyway, what would you give this? Uh, not knowing how available it is and not knowing the price, I would say this is an easy three. I okay. like it. It's solid. I Well, let's do another glass. Um, yeah, I would say get this if you can find it. I don't know where you, you said it was a gift, so I don't know if you can just run down and get it. I might even bump to a three and a half. It was actually a gift for Liz, and she doesn't like mead. Well, good for us. Thanks to whoever whoever gave this to Liz two years ago. Yeah, so I think it was a Christmas gift too. Um, yeah, I'm 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 with you. I'm I'm at a three. Yeah, I would say a two seven five, but I'm at a three. Yeah, I'm at a th- I'll, I'll, I'm at a bump up. Um, yes, you mentioned the Funko Pops. There are more. There are considerable uh, a considerable. I see Underdog. Well, Underdog was there before. I see. Was it? Yeah. I remember we talked about you ordered it. I see Boney Tony. I don't think those were here last week. Underdog was because I got him three weeks ago. Okay, so I see Boney Tony. I see mm-hmm. Deadpool. Yep. Three of them. Ballerina Deadpool. I see Split Kit. I see other Deadpool. I see Spider Man. Spider Man was there last week. Was he? Yep. There's so, the other Deadpool. Okay, I see all three Deadpools you got stacked there. So this week, this week alone, there was the addition of, I think Boney Tony was last, there last week. This week alone, was. he was. Hmm. Um, Split Kit came today. Deadpool Ballerina. Deadpool with teddy bear pants. And barbecue Deadpool. Nice. Uh, there, and then there are two Notorious B.I.G.'s. Oh, on the, I see. On the bottom row. Yeah, you got one. On the, so you got the one for the damaged box. I got the one for the damaged box, but they never sent me a return authorization label. For the one with the damaged box. So you've got this pyramid of... But hold on. Wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. So I got the one that was damaged. Right. You... I did the return authorization. They sent me another one. But they didn't want their damaged box. That back. one showed up damaged. They didn't want sloppy thirds. No, no, no. You got another one that showed up damaged? Yes. So the second one showed up damaged. Uh, biggie, and I took biggie, back biggie. The... I know. Can't I... you see? I took back the first one. So the first one got sent... I took it to Kohl's. They shipped it back. So then I was down to one. One damaged. I went to try to do the return exchange on Amazon for it. Amazon would not let me do the return and exchange. Okay. So I hit the contact link because it's like, there's an error. Contact us. Did the contact link. Chatted with the guy. He's like, where do you want to return it to? I said, Coles. He's like, all right, great. Thanks for answering that question. Give me a second here. All right, we've got another one coming out to you. You'll get an email for the return authorization label. You can take it to Coles and drop it off. You should be all set to go. You'll see the shipment show up in your order status on your account showed up in my order status 
no return label email. Hmm. So now I got two biggies because I'm not going to take it back. I'm not going to contact them about taking it back. Bezos has got enough money. He doesn't have to worry about an $8 Funko Pop. So it's fine now. There just ain't a box in the world that Biggie can't smash. That's right. Even in the afterlife. Damaged box. I'll be watching you every step you take. But other than that. Every move you make. Every single day. Every time I pray. I'll be watching you. Nothing creepy about that at all. Ugh. Through your windows. Please. To the walls. To the sweat drop down my balls. God. <laughs> and that's what you call a collaboration. Yeah. So I tried to. I'm. I'm whatever. I'm a. I threw you off, didn't I? Did I catch you off guard? Something. Um, I was more astounded by. My stunning the, the, vocals. The. The. the the melodic. The melody? Melodic. The melodic. D- it's words. The melodic, the words. The words. I was trying to get Mo on the show this week. I was trying to get him to, to come here and eat barbecue and drink mead with us, but he was busy. Sorry. Right. Stupid. It's all right. Stupid. You could have seen two smash boxes and eaten some barbecue. That's right. There ain't nothing like staring at a destroyed box while eating meat. Just That's usually a pretty me, proud moment in my life. Putting me right in your mouth. Mmm. That's so cheesy. Oh, that's I was gonna say that's cheesy meat there. Anyway. You so got the meat and two beans all in your mouth. Yeah. Mmm. I don't have anything to talk about. Like nothing happened this week. Nothing? No. You're just living the dream. The shed's like, organized. Well, that's I started working. When I left last week, I was kinda going. Man, I hope he gets all that back in there, but... That motherfucker ain't gonna get shit I'm leaving done. anyway. Because <laughs> your yard looked like a yard, so... I, everything got it back in the shed. It's all organized. It's pretty. Now I'm working in the basement. So trying to trying get, to get, get there closer. for the studio. March Madness is happening. I know you've been watching all the the ba- basketballs. Oh, yeah. I know how big of a fan you are of the sports, Dean. I, I, I like sports. I just don't like basketball. I watched like 10 minutes of Ohio State and Oral Roberts... Yeah, they got oral bobbing. They got bounced. Uh, beat Ohio State and destroyed everybody's bracket. Good. ESPN said there's like only 100,000 left that, like 100,000 people picked that out of like millions. So. Good. I think it's kind of funny. I didn't do a bracket this year. I haven't done a bracket in years, actually. So I got on Facebook and my timeline was, fuck this year. This is bullshit. 20, 2021 sucks. The Buckeyes didn't win. Wah, wah, wah. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Wine, wine, wine. I'm like, it's a, what, what stake do you have in this game? Well, some people put money on them. Well, I guess they shouldn't have. I don't disagree. I mean, it's like playing the stock markets or buying cryptocurrency. You're going to lose out eventually. I mean, I did. I did not because I did not start. Well, I put like two hundred dollars into a a shit coin, and I'm down seventy dollars on that fucker. Because some, I'm down with this mead. Some dude in China, literally a dude in China, owns sixty million of these coins, and he is every time someone buys, he's got a bot set up that when someone buys, he sells, makes money. When someone sells, he buys and makes the money. Plus this coin, you get 1% of every transaction. Like all everybody who holds a wallet gets 1% of every transaction. So then he's also picking up the 1% of every transaction that he buy and sells. Smart guy. He is. I just wish he'd stop because I want to get out at least on even. <laughs> and he's not, not allowing me happen. to do that. No. He's making money on you. Not on me. He's making money on... He's people. making money on other people, but definitely not me, because I haven't bought or sold. Oh, come on. Fucking cork. Oh, That was... That should have been closer to the mic. That was impressive. I was afraid it was going to spill. 
So this is a wine? So this this is a wine. So we have friends that are winemakers. Um, oh, so you know this these people. Oh, yeah. This was a gift. This was okay. specifically made for me. Well, the other one was a gift, too. No, no, so. no. But this was made for me. <laughs> so what's it called, then? We should have bought the banana farm, Liz. That's the name of it? That's the name of it. That's awesome. I would have guessed Martel's Merlot. No. Um, although we do have... When they open their uh, operation back up, because they shut down for a while so that they can reevaluate what they're doing, and they're building a new place and a new winery, and they're going to get everything set up, I will have, like, a Martel Marlowe that'll be on the menu. It'll there be, you go. It'll be under my name. It'll be awesome. So this is banana-flavored white wine. And it should be cold, but it was a last-minute grab, so... Did you know, it's probably good that we're doing this here in your house rather than on a flight because you lose 30% of your taste buds during a flight. Good. So the higher the plane gets, the the less, the, the drier and all that crap, it's science, but the less you're able to taste sweet and salty flavors. Even in a pressurized cabin? Yep. Yeah. So I, I wonder if we, when we move to the basement, if things will taste different. Oh, God. Probably it's gonna taste, taste so much better. It's gonna taste better, right? Sorry, I was reading this list of facts earlier. Because we're so. sub, we're subterranean. Um, yeah, so this is a banana white wine. That it smells like runts. Doesn't banana it? Runts. It smells like runts. I love banana runts. It's Beth hates them. So does Liz. Yeah, Liz, Beth hates artificial nanners. Liz hates all nanners, even yours. Yes, Beth loves the real nanners. She yeah. hates artificial nanners. God, that smells so good. And so this one, we're not going to – I mean, we can rate it. There's no price on it, and you'll never be able to get it. That just made my butthole pucker. <laughs> oh, whew, that's not what I was expecting. I took a big old swig of that. It's better cold. I expected, like, sweet runt nanner flavor. What would you get? Um, it, it, was, it was just drier than I was expecting. It wasn't yeah. bad. I was just, like, ready for, like, nanner fruit juice. Oh. Like Kool Aid. No, it's it's definitely a drier wine. It's a dry it's a dry wine. The other bottle I had was didn't have the banana flavor to it. Definitely like, made my O-grain clinch a little bit. This is different. I'm not sure it what hit I, my jowls. The nanner just got all the way back there and hit me in the back of the throat. It's got a little a, a slight carbonation to it. Yeah, Very I get the carbonation. I like it though. It tastes like um now that I've slowed down and just sipped it. Uh, it's got a little banana flavor. Mm -hmm. and it's got a little of a um tartness to it, kind of like a sweet tart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like a can there's a candy flavor there, but a tart yeah. candy flavor. Yeah, I like it. It's not bad. I had to go back for a second hit. To I just wasn't ready for it right off the rip. <laughs> it just it really got me down deep. Just, it, it it that it, nanner penetrated my soul. It doesn't taste as it smells. Not at all. No, I do like it. Yeah, that's not bad at all. No, it's really good. And I don't, I'm not a wine guy. Really, I don't like dry wines. Um, if I get a wine, I like it to be moist. Like um, a towelette. Yeah, yeah, like a moist towelette caressing my taste buds. Yeah. Uh, but it's not bad. It's good. And you're right, there's no point in rating it because nobody else can get it. Nobody else can get it. I mean, it's. We can just say it's good and you'll never have it. There was only ever two bottles. Mo could have had it, but he didn't come. That's okay. We'll get Mo on the show again. So, um, in person though, we'll get him in person. So you, I want to touch him. That's weird. Um, you are driving a different vehicle today. I am. I am driving. So my boss. The, the, I did not hear you coming when I was outside <laughs> in the shed. <laughs> so my whole week, my my whole week, it's it's been my week has been a week. You say nothing's happened. I thought everything happened. Um, all month long, my boss left the company. Yep, I'm on a team of three people in the state. There's my boss. There's not me more. As, there, there was my boss, me as lead tech, and then a tech under me. Yeah, not right now, but he's he's usually under me. Yeah, you're usually giving him the uh, sitting on him. Yeah. Um, well, my boss put in his two weeks, left the company. Good for him. Yeah. Went on to bigger and better things. Um, he's the next, he's the, he's going to be the next Bezos. Yeah, he is. Uh, and then there's me, and then the guy under me is in the Army Reserves and has training every day, including weekends. 
this entire month. Mm. So now it's me running. It's just you. Doing everything. You can do it. I have been doing it. But this week was the first week where physically I got my tail kicked and then had to come home and do like the emails and the paperwork and all the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, now my boss's boss, she's from um, a different state. And she did fly in, was here. Um, she's back home now, and she'll be back, not next week, but the one after, I think. Um, but she's been kicking butt. Love, Loving working with her. Yeah. Uh, but I had work every day this week, had to travel somewhere. Dayton, Troy, Columbus. I, I was always going somewhere. Delaware. But then every night we had we recorded what's called Tragedy and the Triumph at our church. Okay. Now, Tragedy and Triumph is where we bring in people who are known for something, and they've overcome some kind of tragedy in their life. Okay. Uh, so this year, it, 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 I think it airs like April 20th, 21st, and 22nd. I didn't get an invite to be on this. Well, yeah, you didn't. Um, My tragedy is I have to put up with you every week. That's that's fair, but you haven't turned that into Triumph yet. you got to get to that part, too. Uh, yeah, we Triumph there and complain. by uh, I, it allows me to drink every week. I feel like you do that anyway. You well, would. it makes it more satisfying. You're welcome. Thanks. So, yeah, so we have Justin Bieber's mom is one of the speakers. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, Kylie Basuti, she was a Victorian secret angel uh, runway model. Okay. And she talks about the stuff she's gone through in her life and how she overcame it. She falling off the stage. Um, <laughs> no. no. Dude, she, she told stories of how she, she got... She used to get made fun of because she had long legs, was really skinny. So kids in high school made fun of her for being anorexic, which she wasn't. Right. She became a model, and they called her fat. So she talked about being in the industry, and over the years, she knew girls that like ate cotton balls, so they would feel full. That's gross. But not get calories. Girls that have their surgery like? to um fluffy probably. You probably have their, but she said girls would have their hip bones shaved. Yeah. I've heard that. And like, like, so, but anyway, so she talked about the overcoming the body issues and, and all the crap she dealt with. Um, and then the last one was Chad Williams, a Navy SEAL. Okay. Talking about stuff he, he dealt with and, um, what God done in their lives. But anyway, so every night I got to play in the band that was there. Yeah. So Monday through Thursday, I was going to work, driving S- home, slapping your bass, grabbing a shower, slapping my, slapping my bass. Getting home late, getting the boys to bed, falling asleep, and do it all over again. So, like, it's been an exhausting week anyway, physically, um, and emotionally and spiritually. But then, while I'm driving to Dayton on Wednesday. Not mentally? my eh, I'm numb mentally anymore. Okay. I'm dumb mentally. Yeah. So, I'm driving. And about a month ago, the van made some weird noises at the front when we had all that snow and ice. And I went, oh, because it went away. I went, I was probably icing the wheel or something weird. Well, I'm driving to Dayton. All of a sudden, I start getting some weird, bad noise. So I go to get to Dayton. Weird, bad noise. Yeah. Clunking noise. Grinding. Okay. I don't know if it's the CV joint. I don't know if it's the wheel bearing or what. I just know it's bad. So I'm like, well, I'm always to Dayton. So I get to Dayton, do my work, and then I call my boss, let her know what's going on. I called my dad because dad was you know, a mechanic back in the day. And uh, he's like, just baby at home. You should be able to get home, you know. So I do. Um, so the van got dropped off at the shop. Beth had to get the boys and take me to Hilliard to get the truck that my boss's boss had been using. She flew out to go back home, left the keys at the front desk. I got the truck, drove to Troy. I was on Thursday. Drove home. So now I've got the truck until my van gets fixed. It's in the shop. So it's just been a weird week, man. You going to keep the truck? Until my van gets fixed. Are you going to ask to keep the truck? Uh, I don't know. Can I just keep the truck? I think, well, I applied for the position. Okay. Which, when I pulled in, you said, oh, you got a promotion. And you're like, no, I just (laughs) took the truck. Nope, my van just broke. Uh, I got a broke-ass van. And I did ask them to. The bang van broke down. (laughs) The the banging van. So I did ask him to look into the exhaust leak, too. And he's like, yeah, your muffler's shot. They're on back order. You're better off just going to a muffler shop. It'll be cheaper and quicker. Just haven't put on any old muffler. Awesome. Cherry packs. So thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> just some old glass packs. Glass packs. Cherry some, bombs. Get some screwing tips from AutoZone. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, even Beth was like, hey, you going to have them fix the exhaust? 
Shut up. You're like, no, you'll never know when I'm coming home. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of, I mean, that sucks for you. I mean, I mean, it's, it's been a week, but here I am. I'm in a good mood. Uh, I just got some smoke out barbecue in my belly, which is good. Um, and now I'm drinking this delicious wine and mead. Uh, and you know, I can see your beautiful face. Yeah. And it's, it's not, it's not so bad. Things could be worse. They could be. Absolutely. They could so. be. I actually, I don't talk much about work on the show, but I actually picked up another team. Oh. So now I'm on two teams. Okay. So are they overseas as well? Yes. Same India? Yep. Okay. Bangalore team. So now. Bangavan team? Yep. Team Bangavan. Team Bangavan. So. Welcome to the Bangavan podcast. The. We should change the name. <laughs> uh, the one team is called Team Samurais. That's racist. The other team is Team Ninjas. <laughs> okay, so full on Asian themed Indian teams. Do, do they get to pick their names? Yes. That's awesome. I am hoping. At least one like Team Bollywood. Now, and... you know, I'm really hoping there's another team that comes in that's like Gundam style or something. <laughs> Just. Or like. Uh, team Hong Kong Fooey? No. Nah. Ooh, do they have a Hong Kong Fooey Funko yes. Pop? Yes, yes they do. That one has to go next to Underdog. If I can get it. That would be phenomenal. Um, you can get it. Okay, so you have two teams. As you, I'm going to do this while you're trying to look it up. Hong. H- Hong, H-O-N-G. Kong. Fui. F-U. Fui. Yes. Fui. That's close enough. I think that's exactly it. They have it. There he is. Oh. Oh, 132 yeah, dollars. Okay, well, you should definitely get that. I will not. Uh, no, he's number four. I don't know what the numbers mean. What do the numbers mean? There. So each thing's like a series. Like this is pop animation. He's probably like number four in the series. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, they have Yogi and Top Baha. Cat and Quick Draw uh, girl. Quick, quick Draw and his little buddy. That's awesome. Baba Looney. Yeah, so they, they have all that stuff. But I'm not spending $130. $132 on $134, same one. At Walmart. Oh, that's not really at Apparently Walmart. Apparently Hong Kong, well, on their site. But because they do the same shit that Amazon does where they allow other people to come in and sell. Right. So when you're looking well, for something, they had you can to, never... Because f- Amazon put them out of, well... Good. I won't say put them out of business. This item's probably. discontinued. It's not expected to come back in stock, but it's eleven dollars. I would. Yeah, I would. I would order it, but it's not coming back in stock. I would get a Hong Kong Philly one. That would be awesome. How much is it on eBay? Way too much. One hundred and thirty-eight, and sold, sold. at one hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. Jeez. And it's sold. That's absurd. So anyway. Um. So you have two teams now. I've got two teams. They're in India. They're in India. They're racist. They're both named after Japanese warlords, essentially. We should do like Team Mazimo. Or Miyagi. Ooh. I just rewatched the original Karate Kid last week. Oh, yeah? How was that? Uh, it was good. It was kind of good because the first time I saw it, I was like super And young. then you followed up with Cobra Kai after Karate well, I've, Kid too. I've watched Cobra Kai. Like, I got addicted to that and watched it all the way through. So I was like. Yeah. I'll Daniel's the asshole. You know, I don't know that he is. Really? Everybody keeps saying that, but originally, I, that's why I wanted to go back and rewatch it. Because I was like, you know, you're right. He did an illegal kick and all this. So I went back and rewatched it. Not even the illegal kick. The minute that he shows up. No, because he, he starts the homegirl, but sh- they'd broken up. Johnny and, and what's It doesn't matter, broke up. but Johnny, is, Johnny did not attack Daniel. Yes, he did. Until nope, go back he, and tripped watch. Him. he trips him. Go back and watch. He trips him. It's go fine. Go back and watch it. It's... At the beach, he breaks homegirl's radio. Daniel San is just like, hey. That's not cool. And he's like, uh, F it. He's kind of a D-bag. Well, Johnny's a D-bag. D-bag. They're both D-bags. Let's be honest here. I feel like Daniel Woods in a D-bag until he gets pushed. Mm. Go back and watch. That's the thing, though. Once a D- like, he was born a D-bag. He just got opened up to That's the D-baggedness. Racist. Just because he was from Jersey. You ever, seen, you ever seen Deadpool, the movie? Yeah, of course. You know how you have to he, – he, they, they had to stress out Deadpool to, to make him get his superpowers? Yeah. Wade. It's the same thing. Johnny just stretched out Daniel to get his du- so his douchebag powers. It. Exactly. That's my point. But it, but I mean, someone did that to Johnny too. Stressed Not out. Not Daniel's it. problem though. But 
In the in the situation with them two, Johnny's the D-bag. The douchebaggery. And in the fight, Johnny particularly, before the illegal kicks, tries to take him out by blowing out his knee. And that's he He's was just trying. You know what he was? Just, he he was trying to end the situation quickly. Let's be honest. Kraus is the d bag because he's the one that made the, all I, the Cobra Kai kids. Maybe it was Miyagi. Lunatics. No, it's not Miyagi. <laughs> Miyagi just wanted his cars clean, bro. He's like, hey, I can get this kid to paint my fence and clean my cars and trim my. I'll hedges. tell him it's karate. I don't care. Yeah, he, it's not mm. Miyagi. Miyagi's just an old dude that needs some help. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Miyagi doll. I'm. Just playing the other side of the I know you defense are. on this one. Um, you got the Johnny, Johnny blonde is the hair. I got the black. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, I don't remember what I was going to say. So you got two teams. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get a raise? Hell no. Well, then why no, in the, in the one team, it was like, hey, by the way, uh, so and so told me to reach out to you to get help with doing this. And I'm like, I don't know what any of this is that you're talking about. They're like, great. So you're going to help us? I uh, guess. Yeah, just in www.google.com. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I sent my boss a message. And I'm like, hey, so apparently I'm the offshore like subject matter expert now. Like I'm the offshore guy. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, did you tell so-and-so to tell so-and-so to reach out to me? He's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. So now we got a liar. Liar on our team. I don't care. It'll just keep me busy. More so, more busy. In between. So I'll have, instead of having pro- project and downtime, it'll be project, project, project. You'll actually be working for a living. I, I, it's unfortunate. I thought I was in a good place. Like, I had reached my Mecca. Like, I was facing north and reaching Mecca and... Oh, you're reaching all up in Mecca. Yeah, and now elbow I'm, deep in Mecca. Now I have work to do. Mm. Ah. Ah. So the hot mess in the meat <laughs> in the wine apparently makes me belch. Yeah, I was going to say it's building up gases in your. Uh, yeah, well, gases are always building in my body, but um, ah, it's so good. It's really good. It's, it's this. This is a good. You know what, folks? This was like a good mellow, like, after last last week's show was amazing. Like, yeah, last week's show was fun. Mo went back and listened to it twice. Yeah, he did. Because he, he, I just get text message from him. Like, listened again. Listened again. Hey, bang a van. I'm trying not to sing the song. Which song? Whoa, Black Betty, bang a van. Whoa, no, it's Black ambulance. Betty, bang a van. Ambulance. Anything that sounds any like remotely close that pops in my head, I can't help it. I was explaining. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of, I don't think it was last week. The week before, so I was at my folks' Sunday, and okay. we all we do dinner. Krista comes over, which I talk about her. She listens. GW's wife. He's he's all right. And yeah, uh, so we're all sitting there, and Mom was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, we talked about you need to use your dictionary more. This that and the other." And then she said, I need to use the dictionary. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, well, I read the book title, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, mm-hmm. a Fornicate. And I was like, Mom, I read a book title. You got me. Like, I knew what I was saying. Yep. And she goes, you also said damn in hell. Oh! And I said, no, I didn't. And then I, so I listened back. And it was in the intro. You put something in the intro that I didn't know we were recording. <laughs> Where I said, damn. And now I've said it twice more, so I'm sure I'll hear about this one. And I was like, son of a... I was driving for work somewhere. I was like, hold on. I'm going to listen back. And it was right at the uh, intro. Uh, and I totally forgot great. about it. That's great. I'm glad I could do that for you. Ah, uh, you know. You're welcome, Sharon. Say la vie. Gay Sarah Sarah. YOLO. <laughs> and all that. That's hilarious. Whatever the kids have been saying the last 200 millennia. Yeah. Or however long they've been here. Yeah. So, eat that motherfucker off a cliff. Mother fornicator. Yeah, I yelled fornicate a few times. No, I didn't. But I did think about like, yelling literally out the window, fornicate you. To fornicate somebody just you. to get the reaction. I mean, imagine somebody yelling at you angrily, fornicate you. Fornicate you. In public. What? What'd you say to me? Fornicate you. Oh. Oh, thanks, bro. Yes, please. I'll take two. Did you know 
that your nostrils only work one at a time? Mm-hmm. Did you? I said it so. <laughs> I said that to Brandon Holly one day as we were drinking whiskey. And he's like, what? Nuh-uh. He tries to go back and forth, see which one's clogged at the moment. Actually, both my nostrils are working simultaneously at this point. It's probably because of my deviated septum. Mm. They've compensated. I like I like how your deviated septum makes you overcompensate. Yeah, it's sexy because I'm the, I got air coming through both. So here's one for you. I got a question. I, I'm reading random facts off my phone. I know you know. Who is the world's largest tire manufacturer? Lego. You're good. I know. Have you read this list? No, but I'm just, I know useless bullshit. That's true. Elephants can't jump. How many tires do they produce per year? It's something staggering. 306 million tires. Yeah. That's insane. I was going to say half a billion. They qualified for Guinness. Yeah. They make more tires per year than the tire manufacturers combined. The Friends cast? Mm Mm-hmm. Still make around twenty million dollars each year. Yeah, from off of the show from yeah. simulcast and all that. Yep, and they're doing a, a reboot, <sighs> like a either a reboot or like a some like reunion show or some bullshit. Now here's one that fits our show. I did not know the punctuation symbol. That's a question mark followed by an exclamation point. Not the other way, which isn't correct. Do you know what that's called? Fuck it. Intero bang. Question mark, then exclamation point. It's called an intero bang. I'm going to start just intero banging the shit out of people. Mm. Just going to intero bang everybody. I see. Maybe that'll be the name of the show. <laughs> intero bang. Intero bang the shit out of people. Look it up. Google it. What else you got on there? Uh, that space smells like seared steak. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth were born in the same year. That makes sense. Yeah. Just one of them is still alive. Yeah. Well, the other one was shot by the Kennedys. <sighs> Tragic. Well, or not, I shouldn't say shot, killed by the Kennedys. Did you know that Elvis was originally blonde? No. Yeah. He was blonde. He began darkening his roots and, uh, Usually preferred using black shoe polish. That's safe. It is. There's no arsenic or anything in that. No, oh, I knew that one. Knew that one. Knew that one. Oh, here's a good one that's relevant to COVID. Two hundred seventy thousand trees are cut down each day, just for toilet paper. Yeah, that. quarter of a billion per day. I'm sure that that. That's been upped last year. I don't know if it was up because there's I, there are shortages, but that doesn't mean they started cutting down more trees for it. Just had to wait for it to get back in stock. Just wait to grow some more trees. Did you know that a waffle maker inspired Nike's first pair of shoes? Yes, I didn't know that one. That I know about I their know. logo design. <clears throat> yeah, that one I did by... know because the the guy put rubber into a waffle maker. Interesting. And that's how he got the tread pattern. Wibbledon tennis balls need to be kept at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. No one cares about tennis. <laughs> I read that and didn't, didn't even read the ex- explanation. Although, I am curious as to why they think they need to be at 68 degrees. Is it because of the, the bounciness? Yeah, so it says uh, the temperature of tennis balls affects how high the ball bounces. In warmer temps, it bounces higher, while at cooler, it bounces lower. No shit. Yep. So in order to make sure the tennis balls start their game at a neutral state, they're kept at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So apparently T-Pain collects Funko Pops now. Just a heads up. That's good. He got a Tom and Jerry one. It's Tom holding a cleaver behind his back. Interesting. Which is more like itchy and scratchy, not Tom and Jerry, but true. hey, whatever. Very true. Uh, I think that, I think Tom grabbed a cleaver, but he never got Jerry. Itchy and scratchy would have like shown the whole act of chopping a mouse in half. Yeah, well, Probably I don't. I don't think Tom ever. Tom never got Jerry. 
And when he did, Jerry got away. Because Jerry was a race car driver. He drove so goddamn fast. Do you know how many licks it takes to actually get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? 322. 364. Fuck, I'm so close. You were really close. So that's like if you licked it once a day and took Christmas off, you'd get to the center in a year's time. Yeah. No. No. Probably not going to do that either. There's the there's the uh, the image. The the large black eyes of these Funko Pops throws it off a little. That's their thing. It is. Someone made one for T Pain. Oh, okay. There's a T Pain. It's that's obviously graphic that somebody yeah. designed. All right, I'm losing momentum here. We need more mead. Do we though? Because I'm I'm getting tired. Mead and meat. We just both good for inducing naps. Yeah, it'll it'll wear you out. All right. Huge thanks to Derek for not selling all of his hot messes so that we could buy his hot messes. Mm. Apparently, there was a 6.9 magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Japan. That was a good segue. If you like mead, definitely check out St. Ambrose Meadery and try to get a bottle of their Razamataz. It's really good. Uh, Once the wagon wheel winds open back up, I'll talk more about them and have more wine from them that we can try. Um, Definitely check out Smoke Out Barbecue. For all your barbecue needs, catering. All your food needs. Yeah. I mean, he just makes food. Pork, he, chicken. He did a smoked meatloaf. I was getting ready to say the meatloaf. I want to try so bad. I'm going to have to smoke some. a meatloaf. I'm going to do it. I'm just I don't even smoke. know how to light a meatloaf. At one end. A lot of lighter fluid? Yeah. And a torch. Blow torch. That would work. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's the Google Tweets Instagram. I'm Martel. He's Randy. We're out. Yep.